Welcome to running our first test with Google Optimize. This is part of the Google Optimize blog post series. Today, what we're going to do is walk through the setup and uh, first test for deploying Google Optimize, the free edition on your website. You'll start by going to optimize.google.com. If you don't already have an account set up, you'll need to create an account, uh, put in your company name, agree to the terms of service. And uh, let's go ahead and do a test account here. And what you'll have to do is set up a container. Google Optimize functions within the Google Analytics ecosystem, which means that it uses services like Google Tag Manager as a way to, uh, to run, to operate, to provide services. So you'll notice here, once you start to set up your account, you will have to create an experiment, which we'll get to in a minute, link to your Google Analytics account, install a optimized snippet, and then start your experiment. Linking to your Google Analytics property is easy. Just choose the, the uh, account that you have access to. And installing the optimized snippet uh, requires you to use Google's free tag manager service. We'll show you what this looks like quickly for adding the uh, a tag. It's very straightforward. Uh, if you're not familiar with Tag Manager, I would strongly encourage you to take the Tag Manager Fundamentals course from Google's Analytics Academy. But you'd, when we're adding a new optimized tag, go through and just choose Google Optimize from the list. You'll plug in your Google Analytics account ID there. And then typically, if you're going to run Optimize on your uh, website, you're going to want to fire it on all the pages on your site. That way, uh, you're sure that you'll be uh, the service will be available for you to test all the time. So I'm going to go ahead and close Tag Manager because I've already got Optimize set up on my production website, ChristopherSPen.com. I'm going to go ahead and actually delete this one here so that there's no confusion. So if you haven't read parts one and two of the series, Google Optimize is a testing utility. It's a testing service that allows you to create and set up uh, website A-B tests or multivariate tests to test all sorts of different things. Uh, how do you improve conversion, improve awareness, and so on and so forth. Uh, it's very, very useful for running multiple tests at a time and for having uh, the ability to do uh, statistical validation for you so that you don't have to run all the analytics yourself. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to assume that Optimize is set up on your website and is running correctly. We're going to go ahead and create our first experiment. We'll click on the blue button here and we'll call this, let's call this conversion improvement. And we'll do this on the home page of my website. And it'll ask you what kind of experiment you want to create. Uh, it, the types of experiments that are available to you, there's three kinds. There's A-B tests, where you're going to test one thing on a page uh, to see if you can make it different, to see if it improves conversion. So let's go ahead to my website here and look at a potential A-B test thing. Uh, what I might want to do maybe on my website, if I want to do a simple A-B test, is I might want to change the color of that button from gray to maybe a red, for example. That would be a, a simple A-B test. So Optimize would set up a test where the original page runs part of the time and then a page with a red subscribe button would uh, run part of the time. And I could set up an ABC test. Maybe in some tests the, the button would be blue or green and so on and so forth. But the key is for a simple AB test, I'm testing one thing at a time to see how does that change my conversion ratios. The second type of test, which is the bottom here, is the redirect test. This is where you're going to test uh, two different URLs. So, for example, I'm going to go ahead and type in uh, welcome here. And maybe I have one page that has all this content like this, and maybe I have another page uh, which is a, a speaking page. And uh, I, I'm going to use these two pages as, as uh, examples, but for a real redirect test, maybe you'd have two very different landing pages. One page would have a video on it and a bunch of different copy and some testimonials, and the other page would just have a super simple image and a short form. So a redirect test will let you test two substantially different pages uh, by sending traffic uh, to one or the other to see which one would convert best. And that's something that, again, you would use for pages that are almost entirely different uh, in their contents, whereas an A-B test, you're testing one little thing at a time. 
Now, the third kind of test is a multivariate test. This is where uh, this is sort of a, a middle ground between one simple change test at a time and the whole you know, completely different pages. A multivariate test allows you to test several different things at the same time. So for example, on this welcome page, uh, maybe I want to move this picture from the left to the right, and maybe I want to change uh, the button color up here. So I'd have in a, a more traditional testing utility, I have to set up four different tests and test you know, those different pieces. Whereas with multivariate testing, Google, Anal Google Optimize simplifies that process great. So what, let's do ahead, let's go ahead with the uh, a welcome aboard test. And we're actually gonna use that welcome aboard page to set up a multivariate test. We're gonna test a couple of different things at the same time to see and let Google Optimize run the multivari multiple variations for us. I'm gonna go ahead and create uh, the experiment. Now here's where we have to start deciding what we wanna test. You'll see there's uh, two sections, which means you can test two different changes at the same time. So if maybe if I wanted to test the pictures, where the picture was, and a button color. Those would be two different sections of the page I'd want to test. If I wanted to test the title, maybe that would be a third section. Uh, or maybe I wanted to uh, um, move the placement of a button. That would be a fourth different section. So you, before you go and start creating the test, give some thought to what things on a page you'd want to test to see what might have impact, what might uh, deliver the, the best results for the kind of conversion that you want. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a new variant. This is going to be variant one on button color. And I'm going to go ahead and click on this and it will bring me to the web editor. And what we'll do is we'll bring up that page. And now I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, this link here. And we'll go ahead and change the, the background color. Let's go ahead and make that a little more red like that. So there's my variation A. It's going to have the button color on there. And that's the first variation. Click done here and close out of the screen. Now this, I could do a second variant here, variant two, and let's go and do variant two as well. And maybe this time on variant two, go ahead and turn that background color Let's make it something really eye-catching. Kind of a fuchsia, well, actually, it's, not fuchsia, it's more of a teal. I'm going to hit save. So now I've got two different variations of this button uh, in section one of the page, my first section test. And now I'm going to do uh, section B, some variations here. Hit save and continue. And maybe this time through, yeah, if I see if I can move this image around, maybe can I move it down here? So there's the image moved in a different place. Hit save there. So now I've got my picture as a, as a separate test. And maybe I want to do one more thing. Maybe I want to do some work with the title. I'm going to do a variation on the title of the page. Edit the text of the title. Hit done, save. So now when you think about it, to create this many tests, that's 12 different combinations. If I were to have to do that manually, I'd have to set up a, an A through uh, L test. And instead, I can set up a couple of different variations. And Google's optimized software is going to run every possible variation for me, which is a super time saver. We'll make sure that my testing uh, tests all the different combinations without having to manually set up every single test. 
My objective here, we're going to specify a goal of some kind. These goals are pulled directly from Google Analytics. So if you have no goals in Google Analytics, you're going to want to go ahead and set those up first. In this case, I'm going to say I want newsletter subscribers. Moving items around and changing colors will make people convert more. There's our hypothesis, and this is useful for uh, people, for you and for anybody else on your team uh, after the experiment has been running for a while. This will help you remember what it is that you're testing. In terms of targeting, you can choose what percentage of your audience to target if you want to run it uh, uh, under certain conditions or, or with only a part, portion of your traffic, you can. Uh, you can also change uh, the activation of custom event or a page load. Uh, so custom events would be if somebody did something specific. You can also change the conditions. So you can uh, match on URL or URL fragment or path or host uh, so that you can specify it should only run on these certain kinds of pages. Now, if you are a Google Analytics uh, or Google uh, Analytics 360 customer and you have uh, optimized 360, there'll be many more options here of things that you can add in such as uh, certain social networks or traffic sources and so on and so forth. But for the basic version, this is not a bad way to, to run the test. You can run it with uh, just all your traffic. So we have our objectives, we have our uh, targeting here, we have page load, we have 100% of our page. Uh, let's see, what else do we need to set up here? We need to save our changes. And now we're ready to start that experiment. We're ready to, to get the experiment going. So let's go ahead and hit start. Now what will happen is that uh, Google Optimize will choose when to stop the experiment based on the statistics. Uh, if we look here, there's no results to report uh, on this particular test. So we're going to go back to uh, some other tests that I have running. Uh, there's a one from earlier in the day. Uh, that was uh, live. A multivariate subscribe here. And you can see just just in one day, it's starting to, to, to run different variations to try and identify what the baselines are and what's likely to happen. I'm going to go to an older uh, test here that has uh, some data in it. And you'll be able to see, in this case, it ran for 91 days. It didn't find a clear leader, so none of the improvements that I suggested uh, had uh, any kind of real significance. Uh, but you can see over time, uh, it was able to calibrate and give us a, a little bit of a sense of uh, what could potentially affect conversion. Here's a more robust example using a uh, pop-up. Again, this has a lot more data in it. And you can see uh, the original and the variations. And there was, even though there was plenty of data, there was no one example uh, that said this is exactly what worked best. So there are a number of things that, knowing this, I now know that these variations that I picked really weren't impactful. They were not the thing that helped people convert. So I would go back to my uh, scientific method. My hypothesis is rejected because this simply was unimpactful. I would go have, have to go figure out, okay, well, what does make people convert better? Have to go do some more research and things. So what you've seen here is we've gone through and set up Optimize. We've made sure that all the uh, the uh, installation checklist is done. And we've deployed our first test here. In this case, a multivariate test with 12 different combinations, uh, three items on a page, a couple different variations. We've specified what the target is, what we want to accomplish in our hypothesis. Applied targeting started the test. And then we can go in and check in on the reporting, usually in a few days, to see if there are, is any uh, progress. Google Optimize will let you know when the test is done and when uh, there are some results for you to view. So one of the things that you can do is you can set up different tests uh, on your website for maybe different pages and run multiple tests at the same time. Just don't run multiple tests on the same page. Make sure that you're doing that slightly differently. But this is the process for getting started with Google Optimize. It's very friendly. It's very easy to use. There's some really good help guides built into it. The prerequisites, you've got to have your Google Analytics set up well with goals and goal values. You've got to be able to take your Google Analytics uh, account number and put it into Google Optimize. And you also have to be able to deploy the optimized tag using Google Tag Manager. If you haven't uh, already checked it out, if you go to Analytics Academy uh, with Google, 
In here, there is a Google Tag Manager Fundamentals course, which I strongly recommend that you take. Uh, if you are, are uncomfortable with Tag Manager, it will help you get sorted away uh, sort of straight away uh, also be sure to check out some of these other courses as well to make sure that uh, you are familiar with some of Google's other capabilities but this is a, a terrific resource it is completely free to use uh, and so it will uh, really help you get started with the, the setup steps you need in order to make optimize the other parts of the Google Analytics suite work for you my name is Christopher Penn thank you for watching this video you can find more of stuff like this at ChristopherSPenn.com uh, and on my YouTube channel so thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.